Only in America, people. Only in America. The University of Mississippi finds 2,000 graves up under its foundation. The only reason why they was able to figure this out was because they wanted to build a parking lot. So they had some people come out and do a survey. And before they do a survey on any property, they have to check to make sure there's no bones or fragments up under that property. So they was looking to see if they had any bones or fragments before they build on it. And they found 2,000 graves of former slave people. Let me tell you something. What makes this even more crazier is the fact that they said they always knew there were graves up under this property. What I don't understand is why didn't you remove the graves before you even built the university in the first place? See, it goes to show you how much respect they have for us as a people. Because if they had any respect, they would have made sure that they got the graves out of there before they even built the university in the first place. Then all of a sudden, when you discover 2,000 graves, not 100, not 200, 2,000 graves, then all of a sudden you want to say, well, we always knew there was some graves up under this property. That just doesn't make no sense. But that just shows you the disrespect that America has for us as a people. Doesn't mean that we are belittled by any means. We are still a great people. We just a great people that's been invaded by liars, thieves, and murderers. And this is just the truth. Do I wish it was different? Most definitely. I wish that all men were good, no matter the nationality no matter where they came from. I wish my heart that all people would be good by nature. That way everything will do what the original plan that God had for us to do. But it's not that way. We live in America, which has chose a different direction, which judge people by the color of their skin and not the content of their character. This is not my fault. I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask to be born here. This is just America. So until it changes, we have to speak on it. And we have to let it be known. That way, everyone will know the truth. But like I say, this is a sad story. Because these people should have known better. They should have made sure that they have checked everything and checked up under this property. If they had any idea as what they claim and what they admitted to that they knew there was graves up under this property then tell me tell me why would you build a university on top of that property when you knew there was ex-slave graves up under the property check out the story i'll leave the link like subscribe one love